Vespers, Evening Prayer. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God of thy pity, unto us thy children, bend down thine ear in thine own loving kindness, and all thy people's prayers and vows ascending. Here we beseech thee. Look down in mercy from thy seat of glory. Pour on our souls the radiance of thy presence. Drive from our weary hearts the shades of darkness, lightening our footsteps. Free us from sin by might of thy great loving. Cleanse thou the sordid, loose the fettered spirit. Spare every sinner. Raise with thine own right hand all who are fallen. Glory to God the Father everlasting. Glory forever to the soul begotten with whom thy Holy Spirit through the ages reigneth co-equal. Psalm 144 I will bless you day after day and tell of your wonderful deeds, O Lord. I will praise you to the heights, O God, my King. I will bless your name forever and for all time. I will bless you, O God, day after day. I will praise your name forever and all time. The Lord is great. To him all praise is due. He is great beyond measuring. Generation will pass to generation, the praise of your deeds, and tell the wonders you have done. They will tell of your ov overwhelming power and pass on the tale of your greatness. They will cry out the story of your great kindness. They will celebrate your judgments. The Lord takes pity. His heart is merciful. He is patient and endlessly kind. The Lord is gentle to all. He shows his kindness to all his creation. Let all your creatures proclaim you, O Lord. Let your chosen ones bless you. Let them tell of the glory of your reign. Let them speak of your power, so that the children of men may know what you can do. See the glory of your kingdom and its greatness. Your kingdom stands firm for all ages. Your rule lasts forever and ever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will bless you day after day, and tell of your wonderful deeds, O Lord. Canticle, Apocalypse 15. Your ways are just and true, King of all the ages. Great and wonderful are your deeds, O Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the ages. Who shall not fear and glorify your name, O Lord? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship you, for your judgments have been revealed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Your ways are just and true. King of all the ages. A short reading from James chapter 5, verse 16, 19, and 20. Confess your sins to one another and pray for one another, and this will cure you. The heartfelt prayer of a good man works very powerfully. My brothers, if one of you strays away from the truth and another brings him back to it, he may be sure that anyone who can bring back a sinner from the wrong way that he has taken will be saving a soul from death and covering up a number of sins. A short responsory. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. The Magnificat. When the bridegroom is taken away from the wedding guests will fast. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my salvation. For he has shown me such favor, me his lowly handmaiden. Now all generations will call me blessed, because the mighty one has done great things for me. His name is holy, his mercy lasts for generation after generation, for those who revere him. He has put forth his strength. 
He has scattered the proud and conceited, torn princes from their thrones, but lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. He has remembered his mercy as he promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. When the bridegroom is taken away from them, the wedding guests will fast. Prayers and Intercessions Let us turn in prayer to the Savior of all men. By dying he destroyed our death, and by rising he restored our life. Sanctify the people you redeemed by your blood. Christ our Redeemer, let us share in your passion by works of penance. Let us attain the glory of your resurrection. Sanctify the people you redeemed by your blood. Grant us the protection of your mother, the comforter of the afflicted. Help us to extend to others the consolation you have given us. Sanctify the people you redeemed by your blood. Unite the faithful to your passion in times of trouble and distress, and let the power of your salvation shine forth in their lives. Sanctify the people you redeemed by your blood. You humbled yourself even to accepting death, death on a cross. Grant to your servants obedience and patience. Sanctify the people you redeemed by your blood. Share with the dead your bodily glory. Let us rejoice one day with them in the fellowship of the saints. Sanctify the people you redeemed by your blood. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Give us the grace, Lord, to continue the works of penitence we have begun, so that the Lenten observance we have taken upon ourselves may be accomplished in sincerity of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs>